WWE just dropped a video explaining why Shotzi was sent home, so we'll take a look at that. We'll also discuss Renee Paquette's comments on how things were with Jon Moxley and Roman Reigns backstage, and we'll also take a brief look at the Liv Morgan and Margot Robbie story. Let's start things off with this Liv Morgan story. This took place way back in Liv Morgan's early WWE days, around 2015. She took to Twitter back then and had this to say, quote, Dude at Chick-fil-A said, when he first saw me, he thought I was Margot Robbie, gassed me up. She's bae, thanks homie, end quote. It's a lesser known story from Liv Morgan that a six-year-old tweet has around 50 likes or so, a majority of Liv's newer fans most likely never seen or knew about that tweet. And if you go back and compare Liv Morgan and Margot Robbie's pictures from back then, they did sort of have a shocking resemblance to each other in 2015. Liv also dressed up as Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn for Halloween recently, and even had Harley Quinn-themed gear for WrestleMania 37. So she's definitely a fan as well. But it was just a funny story that not a lot of fans knew about, so we just wanted to share some light on it. As far as Liv Morgan's current WWE update goes, it looks like the big fear we talked about has unfortunately come true. During Liv's time in the title picture, we discussed how Liv would most likely come out of that title feud unsuccessful. But how would WWE treat her after the feud with Becky Lynch ends? Because once you're out of the title picture, there's only two paths for you to take. You can either stay looking strong and looking as a credible contender, or you could go back to being lost in the shuffle and getting pinned time and time again. A perfect example of someone that stayed strong, even outside of the title picture, is Bianca Belair. She's been out of the title picture since fall, but she still hasn't lost much ever since, and remains a big credible contender to the title. An example of someone that may be unfortunately reverting to their old ways could be Liv Morgan. After all of Liv's title matches consisted of cheating finishes from Becky to protect her, Liv was just pinned by Dewdrop on Raw like none of that protecting for Liv ever happened. So that is kind of disheartening. Everyone thought that Liv would be treated in a slightly different light following the great feud with Becky Lynch, but getting pinned cleanly by Dewdrop like that wasn't a good first sign at all. This is something to keep an eye on. Hopefully Liv just doesn't fade away and start dropping a lot of matches now that she's not in the title picture. Hopefully her direction still has some sort of consistency to it, but we'll have to see how that unfolds. Renee Paquette recently had Summer Rae on her oral session show. They talked about that relationship with The Shield and how Renee thought Summer was dating one of The Shield members because of how close she was to them. Summer Rae described The Shield as the brothers she never had and shared this story from traveling with them. Quote, you do not fall asleep when driving in a car with a shield. I can't remember if I was applying makeup. I want to say I dozed off for half a second. And they would slam the brakes on, throw a water bottle at me at close proximity. And I'm like, what is going on? They're like brothers I never had. End quote. Renee and Summer went back and forth for a bit. And that's when the topics of relationships and dating came up. This was all happening, obviously, before Renee and Moxley were together but Renee explained how she felt, like something was developing with Moxley. But considering how close Summer was to all of them, Renee had assumed that Summer Rae was dating either Roman or Moxley. Renee explained that story and had this to say to Summer on oral sessions, quote, I remember asking you, you're not like seeing one of them, are you? Because that's when I was like, I think something's happening between John and I, but I don't really know. I wasn't sure what was going on. You're like, absolutely not. They're like brothers to me. There's no way. I'm like, okay, good. Green light. Here we go. End quote. So that's the backstory and origin story of Renee and John Moxley's relationship. Renee was a bit hesitant at first because she was unsure if Summer Rae was either seeing Moxley or Reigns. But when she got the confirmation that Summer wasn't seeing either of them, it was a green light, just like Renee said. As far as the latest update for these stars, we will be seeing Summer Rae back inside of the WWE ring for the first time in over four years at this year's Royal Rumble. So 
There's a lot of anticipation for that, and we'll see if she does stick around or eventually comes back for another longer run in WWE. Shotzi is a great wrestler and a great character over on SmackDown, a true star. She has a lot of spotlight recently when she turned heel on Sasha Banks. But fun fact, we actually could have seen Shotzi on WWE programming a very long time ago. Shotzi was originally set to be one of the main competitors on WWE's Tough Enough from several years ago. Lita said that everyone loved her, her charisma, everything about her was what they were looking for in the competitors for the show. But during a medical exam, it was revealed that Shotzi had a heart condition that wasn't going to allow her to compete on the show. WWE even has footage of a young Shotzi sitting in the medical room crying with Lita standing over her. But Lita told her all those years ago that they caught the condition early, she'll get it fixed and she'll come right back. And that's exactly what ended up happening. Shotzi was later cleared, came to NXT, came to SmackDown, and is here in WWE today. The reason why this story is so relevant in current day is because Shotzi's trainer from back then, Lita, and Shotzi herself will both be in the Women's Royal Rumble match. Just a surreal moment that this superstar who was once sent home by WWE because of medical condition and this retired WWE legend will both be in the same match at the Royal Rumble. WWE had this whole video put together going over this story and really shared a lot of light to this story. So, considering all that time they put together into showing this old personal story between Shotzi and Lita, could that mean we'll see a little moment between the two of them during the Royal Rumble match? Well, hopefully so, because now that you know the backstory between these two and everything that they went through all those years ago, a quick face-off between the two of them during the match would really feel like a special moment. And the way Lita returned even earlier before the Royal Rumble and has been doing all this talk about one last run, it makes you wonder if Lita will be sticking around even after Royal Rumble. WWE already teased something between Lita and Charlotte Flair, but another great matchup considering all this history between the two of them would be Shotzi vs Lita as well. Imagine what you could do with that story considering everything that happened all those years ago at Tough Enough. Maybe this heel version of Shotzi is full of anger and blames Lita for what happened back then and wants to get revenge. The possibilities are limitless there for this feud. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys.